Hi guys, Sam Corkies from EVSC and today I've got the brand new Zeke RX. I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about how to charge it, the battery, its range, and also what you get in the car. So let's get into it now. So the Zeke RX comes in two models. The first one being the rear wheel drive, which is the base model, comes with a 66 kilowatt hour battery and it gives you a phenomenal 540 kilometers of range. In terms of charging speeds, the AC charging speed is single phase 7.2 kilowatts. So that's about a nine to 10 hour charge at home or if you're at a shopping center, if you're going from zero to full. In terms of DC charging speeds, it is very blessed to have a 150 kilowatt DC charging speed. That means that this can go from 10% to 80% in 30 minutes. So in Australia where we love to do long distance driving, it means a one stop and shot kind of drive it's really, really gonna age very nicely. In terms of its zero to 100 kilometer speed, it's 5.6 seconds. Now the second model is the premium all wheel drive model. It also has a battery of 66 kilowatt hours, but its range is 470 kilometers. So it's slightly smaller, and that's because of that extra performance. The AC charging speed on this model is higher at 11 kilowatts. And the, that means when you're charging at home or in a shopping center, that's a zero to full in six hours. It's very, very impressive. Now, from a DC charging speed, again, it's also 150 kilowatts. That's a fast charge, guys. This is gonna age really well. And 10% to 80% in 30 minutes when you use a big DC charger. Now, what sets this model apart from the other one, obviously, is zero to 100 in 3.8 seconds. That's a high performance automobile in any kind of country, any model. Uh, and the price that this comes in at around $60,000, that's phenomenal value. You're getting a lot of speed, a lot of range from there. Uh, what's really impressive about the Zika X is the battery to kilometer ratio. It's very, very efficient. Um, previously, Tesla was like the king of the efficiency. I think the uh, Zika here is really at the pinnacle and really challenging uh, Tesla for that uh, kilometer per kilowatt efficiency mark. So if you pop open your frunk, which is the front, now EVs always have a frunk and a trunk, you will get a very generous offering here from Zika. They'll give you both a portable charger. Now this is a slow charger that plugs into your regular household outlet. Be aware though that it's a slow charger. It's only two kilowatts of charging per hour. So it's gonna take you 33 hours to charge your Zika if you only use this as your portable charger. So if you're gonna do this long distance driving, if you're gonna use it as your daily, you may wanna consider installing a home charger or kind of finding out where the best public DC chargers are. Now they also give you a type two to type two cable. Now this allows you in a lot of shopping centers, a lot of public chargers, those smaller ones, they come with a cableless um, charger. So you just plug this in uh, the charger and then you plug uh, this side into your port and you can also use public chargers. So great little offering there from uh, Zika. So let's plug this in both the AC and DC and show you how to do that. So to charge this car is pretty simple. You just open up this port by pressing it and it comes with two sections as always, all right? This is equipped with a CCS2 port. That's the latest plug standard in Australia. That means this car is gonna age really, really well and you're gonna get great resale values. At the top is your AC section. So you just take that off and as you can see, you just plug in either your portable or your uh, EV cable or what comes on the AC charger straight into that top port, really simple. For fast DC charging, and those are the petrol station like chargers, you need to also pop open this bottom section and that then gives you access to both the top and bottom for your DC charging. So now I have the DC charger in my hand, as you can see the top and bottom section, and that's pretty simple. Just plug it in there. Now, what I always recommend when you charge your car, don't just walk away, check on the screen, check on the charger and make sure it's charging, make sure you've got no schedules on and that will always ensure that you have a fully charged vehicle. So we've plugged it in guys, and now we're gonna click on this icon here, and that will take us to the charging screen. Okay, so as you can see, the current being delivered is here, the voltage, the charging power. I'm connected to a uh, 60 kilowatt DC, so it's just getting over 50, almost 52 kilowatts and how many kilometers you're getting per hour. Uh, you can also do scheduled charging, you can do a scheduled trip, and there's so many little features that you can do here as well. Now. When you do plug in, if you want to stop charging, all you got to do is then press this button. When you press that button, it stops charging, it unlocks the cable, and you're good to go. So I've been super impressed with the Zika X. 
This is tech luxury. I mean, the interior is high quality synthetic leather. What that means is when you touch it, when you feel it, you really can understand the quality of the car. It's got a beautiful thud. It's got a frameless design, so it really feels like you're, you're driving a futuristic car. Zika has sold a stack of cars, um, 430,000 cars in total, and 220,000 of those cars coming just last year. It is the world's fastest growing EV charging brand for a reason. Uh, in terms of the car, I love how it drives, I love how it feels, and anyone who buys this car is gonna get a really, really nice experience. So on behalf of the EVSE team, if you need any advice on how to charge accessories and parts, please reach out and we'll sure to be able to help you with anything you need. Bye for now.